Hey everybody, today you're listening to the PV Girls Rock Podcast, where we're here to celebrate the voices of women on our illustrious campus. I am Jasmine Jeffries, a sophomore communication studies major, minoring in African American studies, and I'm your host for this first episode of PV Girls Rock, The Bossy Panther, where we're going to be talking about tips for personal development, branding, and success in business and real life. I have three beautiful ladies with me here today. Do you guys want to introduce yourselves? Tell us who you are. Hey, y'all. I'm Ketia Yifulu. I'm a sophomore psychology major, minoring in communication. Hey, y'all. I'm Jade Lockhart, a.k.a. Jade Simone. I am a graduating senior here at Prairie View A&M University. I am a mass communications major with a minor in social work. What's good, y'all? It's TT on the mic. I am a proud spring graduate, 2017, with a Bachelor's of Arts in Communications, as well as I am the host of the Midday Jam here at KPVU 91.3 and the proud voice behind Prairie View and University's On Marching Storm. Okay, thank y'all for being here today. Thank you for having thank us. Thank you for having you. us. Of course. So let's get into it. So can each of y'all tell me a little bit about the story that led you into your career paths? And being that many of these paths are male dominated, how has gender gender bias or gender stereotyping played a role as you try to move up in your leadership positions? Um, well, for me at least, my career, well, I'm a host and an interviewer here on campus as well as what I want to do professionally. So being that it is kind of a male dominated field. For me, at least, coming into PV, all the MCs for different shows, they were all male. So at the time, I didn't really know how I was going to fit in that narrative because it was so many men here on campus and it wasn't too many women at the time that I got here that was doing what I was, that was doing what I wanted to do. So freshman year, I really didn't know. I kind of was just watching, seeing what was going on. Then COVID hit spring semester in my freshman year. So when we came back, I kind of just like, told myself, like, if you want it, you literally got to go take it. Like, you got to do it. Like, it don't matter if it's 20 men doing it and you're the only female in the room. Like, you got to stand on what you want. So last year, my junior year, that's when I decided, like, I want to start hosting events on campus. So even though it was men that was doing it, I literally started going up to them, like, hey, how do I do what you do? Hey, how do I how do I start emceeing different events? You know, things of that nature. So that's how I got started. Well, um, mine was a definitely <laughs> – um, an interesting story. I have a lot of family who um, also graduated from Prairie View and my cousins, my male cousins was the ones who advised that I should start emceeing. And I was like, nah, baby, I done seen a PV crowd, baby. I know they're going to chew you up and spit you out if you don't, if you don't okay. go correct. So I used to always just study the crowd, but um, I was in the band. I was in the storm and that's how I really just decided to take my wings further and decide what I wanted to do within my career field, within the communications field. And um, I am one of the only female announcers, not only just as part of the HBCU band community here at Prairie View, but period. And, you know, I remember hearing people say, I'm not going to listen to a female. Yeah, you listening to me now. So it took some time. It's been eight years in the game, but yeah. Um, I think for me, uh, since I'm trying to be a mental health professional, there is a lot of women in that, um, in that society, but I was looking at it in a way where how I could fight for my black women and my black men, because a lot of them may not be heard when it comes to mental health. So for me, I was like thinking, let me do something where I can advocate for those people because, uh, nowadays it's a lot of, um, it's a lot of discrimination against uh, our people of color. So I just was thinking of it in a way to fight for everybody else mm-hmm. and not just look at it in difference. Yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. So our next question is about your brand. Um, and when you talk about branding, you mean like, what is your unique, unique identity? What is the message you send that sets you apart from other people? So I want to know what is y'all's brand and what have you done to develop it here at PV? Y'all make it? Okay. Yeah, um, girl, you got it. <laughs> so my brand is really the media girl. Um, I developed that here at PV because when I first started off doing stuff in the communications department, everybody kept asking me, like, 
what exactly is it that you do? Like, what do you want to do? So I'm like, I don't want to be put in a box. I don't, because I um, also, I'm the general manager for the radio station here on campus. So I didn't want to just be the radio girl. I didn't just want to be the MC. So I just said, I'm the media girl. I do all things media. Yeah, absolutely. I um, am definitely one that, just like you, I mix it all together. I don't just um, announce for the March of Storm or do my show on KPVU. I also host pageants, uh, competitions, events, you name it. But for me, TT on the mic is my brand and make some noise is my message. You know, it's my job to bring words to life and people together. And so that's what I love to do. Um, for me, I'm going to say, I'm going to always put God in the midst because, you know, he is my Lord and Savior and he has been the one to really push me and, uh, to show love to others. And for, um, as for my brand, it's like, be you and be true to yourself. And he has, uh, led me to be true to myself so I can help others in, uh, their midst of like storm or if they don't feel heard, I'm the one like, okay, like I got you. I'm going to advocate for you as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Makes sense. It seems like a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all's brands, like they go hand in hand with your values and what you know you want for yourself in life. So for someone who may not know that yet, or they may be struggling to combine their personal ideologies into their brand. What are some things y'all can say you can do to figure that out? Like figure out how your values and are going to incorporate or how to incorporate your values and how you want to impact others in life. Mm. If that makes sense. So um, for me, at least to piggyback off what Katia said, I definitely put God first in everything I do. So for those who don't really know what, their purpose may be I definitely listen to God because I know that we all have a purpose like we all have something like we all have something that is our gift we all have individual gifts so I definitely think if you just take your time be patient um keep God first like you'll eventually know know what it is that you need to do for yourself as well as being and being an individual like Mm -hmm. don't look at what somebody else is doing and like oh Mm -hmm. I need to do, that's what she's doing. Like, I need to start doing it like her. Like, as long as you know to stay on your own path and do things your way, I know that everybody will be successful. Absolutely. Um, For me, um, the divine alignment Mm -hmm. means everything to me. That's literally the title of my whole testimony. Because for me, God had his hands on me, my entire journey, my entire undergraduate career, and even now. Um, People underestimate how hard you have to grind especially coming from the communications field when you get out into that real world it's so broad and you really have to fend for yourself and learn to fight for yourself so what I would tell anybody who is struggling to build that purpose is you know trust yourself trust your gift trust your skill don't worry about what's going on around you find your lane and thrive in it water your garden don't worry about what everybody else got going on because baby they don't have your seed And that's the difference. You're the difference. For me, I'm sentimental, extremely. My business started because I wanted to keep my father's legacy alive, who actually is where I get a lot of my gifts and a lot of my talents from. We have the same initials. So I named my business after him to carry him with me. And I take that seriously. And to me, that's my drive. Like, if I want to keep us going, I can't let nobody come and take this away from me. I can't let nobody come and make me give up on myself. And so there are times where it gets dark, it gets ugly, and it's not always cute. It's not always putting on makeup and getting a mic and dancing on the stage. It's you're going to have some late nights and early moments and why me's, but you still have to grind and don't let the ugliness of the grind keep you from realizing that this too is a part of the beauty of your journal and in, in your journey, you know, be, be ready to struggle, be ready for rejection, be ready to be okay with it because it's going to teach you how to fight in ways you never fought before and advocate for yourself in ways you've never advocated for yourself before. And it's really important to have a firm foundation because you can't let everybody else, like, get to you. I get in this day and age, everybody's doing, like, what you may want to do. But, like, you just got to keep going and not let um, anybody just come in between your path to where you just change yourself. Because being lost is not where you want to be. Like, Mm -hmm. I feel like I've been in moments where I felt lost, but then I'm like, no, I got to remind myself, like, I'm here for a reason. There's no way know how nobody can just knock me off like yeah yep I love period that. okay you are the difference
sense. I love that. Okay. So speaking of like persevering and moving past, not listening to what all the outside sources have to say, what is y'all's top tip for personal development and growing through and beyond any negativity? Top number one tip. Um, my top number one tip is definitely to stay authentic. Um, because it was a point in time when I was in high school, I had terrible mental health. I was very depressed, like, and I didn't know what was next for me. I felt I come from, um, I live right outside of uh, Chicago. So it wasn't anybody out there that was doing what I wanted to do. So I just had to realize that staying authentic, you're going to find the right crowd. It's going to be people that love you and love what you do. So just stay authentic to yourself at all times. Absolutely. And staying consistent. You know, you're going to have people look at you crazy just because they don't understand why you go so hard. So many people used to tell me in the ground, why are you trying to host? You need to be getting up out of here. You need to leave. Why are you still announcing? Ain't it, ain't it your time to go? You know what I mean? What it, what God has for me, what is called upon for me, you might not get to understand because it's not for you to understand. That's not your assignment. Understand that you have to be careful of not telling big dreams to little thinkers and making sure that you know your worth and know your value. And if you have to stand in that alone, stand in that because your light's going to shine period point blank. Like there's going to come a time where you're going to realize why all of those doors shut, why all of those no's happen, why all of those people shun you away. God didn't want you around those people because where you're going, you don't need to have any dead weight with you. And it's really a, a spiritual journey. And even if you don't believe in a higher power, know that you are powerful. Know that you have skill. And, you know, doing Women's History Month, I just want people to understand that. Trust your skill. Invest in your skill. Skill is not gender biased. I am going to be TT on the mic, whether if I was a man or a woman, I'm going to be that person. Nobody can do what I can do in the way that I do it. That's the difference. And so when you trust on that, when you hone in on that, it's just something about it that makes people gravitate towards you. So. Um, my top tip is really keeping God first because I feel like he's the only one that's listening to me. And like he's like if I have my goals, like what I usually do, I write down my goals for the year and I talk to him. I'd be like, hey, this is what I want to do. If this is aligned with my plan, like, you know, make this happen and I'll put in the work. And um, there was a point in my life where I felt like nothing was working, nothing was going the way that I planned. So I'm just like, okay, like, let me at least just volunteer, God. If you don't want me to have a paid job right now, let me just volunteer and do what you have called me to do. And then that's when opportunities started to flow in. And I'm like, okay, let me just trust you. Like, you got me. Mm-hmm. Just putting full trust into him that's one thing I had to learn in the tip that I need because he has like taken away a lot of people out of my life but it's like maybe he wants me to just seek him and trust him and trust that things are gonna fall in line and then yeah and then they do yeah you know my first year of announcing or not even announcing hosting events was completely free Mm -hmm. I wanted to be humble enough to do the due diligence of the craft and that was also investing in it. That's That was my own internship. Mm-hmm. You know, when nobody else hired me, I hired myself. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what's up. I'm proud of you. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. I hope everyone is really getting all of these nuggets of knowledge y'all are dropping because yeah. I'm loving it. Okay. So, our last question. So, studies have shown that one in three women attempt to overcome the barriers set to prevent their advancement in the workplace, but fewer than half of them succeed. So for women working in these male dominant environments, what exactly do y'all think it takes to thrive and to succeed? Um, Honestly, I feel like taking every tip that all three of us just said, um, if you stay consistent, be authentic and keep God first, I feel like doing those three things, you're destined to be successful. Like you're going to make it, you know, like obviously we're all going to have dark times in our career path where we may feel like things aren't going our way, but it's not supposed to go your way. It's supposed to go God's way. So if it's not for you, it won't be. And if it is for you, then it will be. Mm -hmm. So just keeping in mind what all three of us just said, I feel like doing those three things, you will be successful. I agree. And I add on always remain teachable. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. nobody want a flower that does that no longer wants to grow. You have to remain, remain teachable. Um, know the difference in when it's time to be humble mm-hmm. and when it's time to show how much of a beast you are. 
I remember one of my mentors told me, we know who you are. You don't have to be humble with us. Go show them who you are. And there are times where it's like, okay, well, you definitely want to continue to be grateful. You know what I'm saying? Do in, in all things, do it with grace. But never bow your head in a room full of men. You know, oftentimes when I walk in the room, I'm the only lady in that room, but I'm I'm the rawest dog in there. Mm-hmm. I got the biggest bark and the biggest bite. There's been times where you walk into a stadium of 100,000 people. Ain't nobody going to be listening to you if you timid on that mic. You have to do it scared. You have to do it frustrated. You have to do it tired. You have to do it angry. You have to do it when everything else is falling around you and all is breaking loose around you. You still have to be able to fight for yourself. You have to. You have to grind. They think that just because we're women, oftentimes that we're afraid that we can't handle it. But we can. We are the storm. We are a gentle storm. You're going to move when I want you to move. And when you go in there with that energy, all is going to move on your behalf. So don't be afraid of anything. Don't be afraid of walking into that room and commanding the room because that's what they're going to want to see. And then, of course, your skills. When you have those skills, when you, like we talked about, definitely hone in on your skills. When you have that faith in yourself, there's nothing you can't do. But you have to have that confidence. If you don't believe it, how should I believe it? Right. Yes. I feel like holding your own is very important because, like, there's a reason why you're there. There's a reason why they called you to be there. So holding your own is just top tier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I would even add something my parents always tell me is rejection is redirection. So whatever mm-hmm. happens, keep going, be disciplined in all your pursuits. That's how you're going to be successful. That's Absolutely. Sure. Okay. Well, that's all the questions I have for y'all today. Do y'all want to shout yourself out a little contact information? If they want to reach out to you, speak to you more after this. Um, yes, but first of all, I would like to say thank you again. I really love this talk. Like yes. I really did love this. Like it was so Empowering. Yes, I yes. love this. I really do. But um, my social media handles is Jade Simone with two E's. That's J A D E S Y M O N E E. Yep. Follow the media, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. Um, and sidebar, don't be afraid to work with your sisters. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Everybody want to make it, make it, make it. Network, network, network with your sisters. We can't work together. Okay. But you can always follow me on social media, TT on the mic. That's T-T-O-N-T-H-E-M-I-C. And I'll be more than happy to respond. I handle my own handle, so I promise I'm human, honey. (laughs) (laughs) Heavy on the I'm human. Period. But um, thank you again for having me. This is one of my first, like, big things. So I really do appreciate the um, content. But y'all can contact me at um, on Instagram at K so lit K A Y Y S zero L I T T. Of course, there y'all have it. Thank y'all for tuning in to PV Girls Rock Podcast Episode One, The Bossy Panther, and see y'all later. Period. <laughs>